let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 19. Fraction equivalence, ordering, and operations. Topic D, fraction addition and subtraction. In this lesson, students are given several word problems where they have to apply what they've learned about adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. So I'm going to do one of those problems and show two different ways to solve the same problem. Mrs. Jones had one and four-eighths pizzas left after a party. After giving some to Gary, she had seven-eighths pizza left. What fraction of a pizza did she give Gary? First thing I did was I read the word problem. Now I'm going to draw a picture to represent it. So I'm going to begin by showing one and four-eighths. So here's an area model to show that I have one whole pizza and four-eighths of another pizza. Now my whole, which is this portion, my whole is divided up into eight pieces. This whole was divided up into eight pieces as well, but some of the pieces are missing. This whole is equal to eight eighths. So one whole is equal to eight out of eight parts. Each one of these parts is one eighth. This is one eighth, this is one eighth, and so on. So over here, I have four eighths. So when I look at eight eighths over here and four eighths over here, I can count those eighths up. Eight eighths plus four eighths, which is twelve eighths. Now what I'll do is I will take another part of my story. And it says after giving some to Gary that she had seven eighths of the pizza left. So I can show what seven eighths would be. Here's seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is showing seven eighths. So whatever this portion is over here, this piece and these pieces must be what was given to Gary. So now all I have to do is count those up. So that's one eighth, here's another eighth, another, another, and another. So it's showing that I have one, two, three, four, five eighths. That's what Miss Jones gave to Gary. Now, I could have also solved this by thinking about it in number bond form. And I know I have one and four eighths pizza left after a party. I know that one whole is equal to eight eighths, and then I have four eighths. That's a total of twelve eighths. So twelve eighths is my total. Following the story, it says, after giving some to Gary. So I know that I gave some away to Gary. So I'm going to use an X to represent what I gave to Gary because I don't know. So I gave some to Gary and now I have 7 eighths left over. So 12 eighths would be made up of X plus 7 eighths. So I can think of that like this x plus 7 eighths equals 12 eighths. I could also see that it's a subtraction problem as well. That if I have 12 eighths and I subtract 7 eighths, I will get x. That one would look like this. 12 eighths minus 7 eighths equals x. So x has to be equal to five eighths. One, two, three, four, and five. This is a few different ways of solving it. Here we use number sentences. Here we've used a tape diagram. And we've also shown some of it with a number bond. There's another way students may have drawn the tape diagram. 
they might have seen it like this. Like, I have a hole, and that hole is made up of eight parts, and I have four more parts, because I have one and four-eighths of the pizza. So I have one whole pizza and four more parts. So this one whole, again, represents eight of the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then these four pieces represent four eighths. Now, according to the story, after giving some to Gary, she had seven eighths of a pizza left. Well, we can sort of represent that the same way we did before, showing seven of the parts. So seven eighths of the pizza is what we had left. That would be seven eighths. We're trying to figure out what Miss Jones gave to Gary. So she gave Gary one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. And we can use number sentences like we did before. 12 eighths minus 7 eighths is equal to x. 12 minus 7 is 5, so 12 eighths minus 7 eighths is 5 eighths. And we might have also seen it like a number bond and said 12 eighths is my whole, gave some away, it's an unknown. I'm going to use a variable and put an x and I know 7 eighths is a part of it. We know this part is 7 eighths, so this part has got to be what x is, because x plus 7 eighths equals 12 eighths. Okay, so um, there were several problems in this lesson that um, the students had to do, but I thought that was one good way of showing how one problem could be answered in lots of different ways. That'll take care of things for lesson 19, where we've been solving word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions.